So where are we today? So I, uh, this kind of surprised me a little bit the, the more I started to poke around where Bluetooth was today, where it's starting to go. I learned a little bit from some of the other presenters in terms of what what new stuff might be coming. Uh, battery management systems, obviously, uh, that's pretty well known. Cable replacement. I know there's a lot of debate in the cable replacement idea about what gets replaced. Is it critical? We can't, you know, take... Wires are predictable, right? They're deterministic. We know they're going to work. They add weight. They add expense. They add maintenance. Uh, so there's pluses and minus, uh, minuses there, but certainly there's room for Bluetooth to replace cables in certain spots, uh, uh, maybe to, to pick up sensor data, whatever it may be. Gateways, CAN bus, for example, uh, to, to, to uh, uh, Bluetooth uh, uh, or sensors, uh, et cetera, uh, th that's going to have a play. Physiological devices, certain to not often fall asleep, uh, Bluetooth can play a role there. Um, and again, as I mentioned, audio slash LE audio. Audio is huge in automotive. It's, it's probably our biggest customer base. Well, it's our, the biggest use of Bluetooth still, right? It always has been. Uh, that's changing. Uh, Bluetooth is seeing a much more diversified uh, application base out there. Uh, but uh, and just as we started to see audio start to get approached by non-audio applications in terms of the volume for Bluetooth, here comes LE Audio. Really awesome technology from what I'm, I'm seeing and uh, uh, really will fill some holes uh, apparently that are created by HFE and A2DP. Key fobs, digital keys, right?